Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to connect Eclipse to MySQL. So the first step is to download the MySQL driver. So let's type MySQL. Now let's go to this first link. In this page I have just to click on this downloads link. Then I have to scroll down and to click on this link, MySQL Community Downloads. In this page I have to click on this link, connector slash j for java. Now here I have to select platform independent. And now I have two files that I can download. So I prefer to download this zip file. So let's click on this download button. So here I don't need to log in, so I have just to click on this link, no thanks, just start my download. Now I need to save this zip file, so I will save it into documents, into a new folder that I will call jars. So let's save it. Now let's go to the folder where I downloaded the zip file. So in this folder let's open this zip file. And let's open this folder. Now I need to extract this jar file. Now let's close this folder and also we can close this application. Now let's go to Eclipse. Now we need to open the database development perspective. So we need to go to window, then perspective, then open perspective. Then here I have to click on other. But here in this list, I don't have database development, so I need to install a new extension. So let's click on cancel and let's go to help, then install new software. In this window, I have just to select uh, latest Eclipse simultaneous release and this is the link. Now in this list, I have to select database development, so let's check this box. Now let's click on next and here I have just to click on finish. Now the installation is in progress so I have to wait till the end of the installation of the plugin. Now the installation finished successfully so let's restart Eclipse. So let's close this welcome page and let's open the database development perspective. So let's go to window then perspective, then open perspective, then other. And now we can see this option, database development. So let's select it and let's click on open. So this perspective has been opened. So this is the database connections. To create a new connection, I have to make a right click, then new. Now in this window I have just to select my SQL, this is it, I have to select it and now we can click on next. But here as you can see we have this field which allows us to provide a name to this connection. In my case I will accept this default value and I will click on next. Here I have to provide the driver but I don't have any driver for the moment so let's click on this button. And here I have just to select this driver and now let's go to jar list and we can remove this one so let's remove it and let's add the jar file that I have already downloaded so it is available on uh, documents into a folder called jars and this is the jar file that I have downloaded so let's select it and let's click on open now let's click on ok now in the database field I will provide the name of the database to which I want to connect and it is called my shop. Also I have to modify this field so let's type my shop here and I will connect using the root user and I have to provide the password. Now let's click on finish and now we are connected to the database. So this is the new connection and let's expand uh, this node. So let's expand schemas and here this is the database to which we are connected. So let's expand it and here under tables we can see the available tables. So what I want to do now is to create a new table. So let's click on this button but here we can see that these fields are empty. So we have just to close this 
to select the database where we want to create the new table then let's click on this button again this time these fields are filled and here I have to provide the SQL statement that allows us to create a new table now to execute this statement I have just to make right click then execute all and here we can see that the table has been created successfully so now we have just to refresh this node to see the new table so let's make right click then refresh so let's expand it again and here this is the new table that I have created so let's close this and let's add some rows into this new table so let's make right click then data then edit and in this page I have to provide the values of the different rows that I want to add so for the ID it is auto incremental I don't need to modify it so let's provide the name of the client for example let's say Bill Gates now let's provide the address and we don't need to provide the date because it has a default value also we can add a new user and now to add these two rows we have just to save this file so let's click on this save button and here we can see that we have two rows that has been added now let's close this file and let's open it again to see the new rows and as you can see the ID has been added and the date has been added as well now we can modify some values for example we want to modify this address so let's make double click then let's modify the value so let's hit enter and let's save this file so we have just to click on the save button and the data has been updated now we can close this file and open it again to check that the data has been updated correctly and as you can see the data has been updated correctly now to delete a row we have just to make right click on it and then delete row so it has been deleted we need to save this modification so let's click on the save button and we have to confirm the request here we can see that the row has been deleted so let's close this file and let's open it again to check and here we can see that the row has been effectively removed now let's add some other rows now let's save this file to add them now we can close this file and we can see the content of this table using the SQL query so we need just to select this database to click on this button and here we have to provide the SQL query that allows us to see the content of this table now let's execute it so let's make right click then execute all now to see the results we have to increase the size of this area and to click on a result and as you can see here we have the different rows of this table now to disconnect we have just to make right click then disconnect finally thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel